Brazil cracks down on neo Nazis. The Brazilian government has raided neo Nazi groups across ten states this year, part of a push by the new Lula administration to prosecute far right extremists. This post received a score of 4,600, with an up vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. You don't combat these fascists with flowers. They used to live in the sewers, but Bolsonaro brought them to daylight and also armed them. Bunch on them are in the Congress hiding under the new Pentecostal Church, which is a factory of far-right scumbags in Brazil. A lot of neo-Nazis never liked Bolsonaro because of his philosemitism. Also these guys are mostly mixed-race criminal gangs. Greater than also these guys are mostly mixed-race criminal gangs. Reminds me of the Proud Boys in the US. Turns out the leaders were mostly Latinos and the guys on the ground were typically non-white. I think what this shows is that anyone still harboring delusions that far-right politics would disappear as countries get more diverse. Well, think again. Chappelle was on point with the black-white supremacist. Love to see it. Something that the US could benefit from duplicating. Neo-Nazi hate groups like Moms for Liberty, Proud Boys, and the like need to be eradicated, jailed, or expelled from the country as traitors. Edited to add an FYI. Hate speech and calling for violence is not and never will be covered by the First Amendment in the US. It is like shouting fire in a crowded area just to cause a panic. It is a clear and present danger to public safety. I am not calling for making it illegal in the US. I am calling for enforcing the law and strengthening the penalties. In Brazil racism is a crime. Even the possession of Nazi paraphernalia can take you to jail. On the US one of the two parties is deeply involved with the racists, it will never happen. A reminder that Nazism is a crime in Brazil and not protect by the free speech. Free speech law. People need to get the hate out of their hearts. Good on Brazil. Mirror sight. Putting them in jail won't help. You have to bankrupt everyone who supports them. There's an endless supply of chuds out there to be foot soldiers but only so many people to bankroll them. There's an endless supply of chuds out there to be foot soldiers but only so many people to bankroll them. Our federal police is investigating a lot of far-right rich folks that keep throwing money at such movements. There's a cultural issue in most communities with denying heritage. We're a mixed-race country and should be proud of it. The biggest fascist propaganda organization, Brazil Parallelo, is still comfortably spending millions on ads in Google and YouTube, so it's not like the big fry is worried. About time. We need to hear. At least some see the threat of Nazis becoming a problem again. WW2 was not hypothetical. It can happen again. Unfortunately, it's not a one country problem now. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.